G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star Citizen folks and welcome back yes it is well I think Monday sometime for you and Friday evening sometime for me late in the evening actually I'm sitting here with my beer getting ready to do this recording for you all so yeah uh, I'm gonna have a great time. I, <laughs> I hope you guys do too. Oh shit. Turn this beer into a bloody ice cream. Uh, too much head on the bloody thing. Anyway, folks, what are we doing today in this video outside of um, Hey Ev Productions having a cheeky Friday night drink? Well, actually, the truth be told is I'm preparing from, for the next patch, which is 3.24 or 3.23.2. I don't know what they're going to call these things anymore. Um, just the next one. So the one that's actually taken into consideration the whole new way of doing cargo hauling and things like that. So what I wanted to do was to actually do a before and after video. Obviously, this is going to be the before. Now, here we go. This is going to be a completely, well, not completely, mostly unedited video. So sit back get a coffee, get a beverage, hit the pause button if you don't have that already, and um, let's go for this one. So we're gonna go to Walla, but we're on Walla. Um, not gonna go lost and found. I wanna go to somewhere. I do like the search function. Uh, is that where I wanna go? Yep, brilliant. So I'll go there. I know that there's Laronite and Diamond there, so let's go and have a look. And we'll do this again when the next patch drops just to see what the hell happens. And I also really would be interested to see if I still have the same ships when the next patch drop. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there, folks. They say nothing's going to change, but you know this game better than anybody by now. Things like to come up, pop up, do shit. Anyway, folks, as I'm flying, <laughs> I'm going to say cheers. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So the reason why I'm doing this is because the missus is buggered off um, to some type of, um, I don't know, what are you going to call it? Girls night type of thing. So they're going to go and obviously get drunk. Little ones upstairs in bed sleeping, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to treat myself to an actual beer. That's what I'm doing. Beer and Star Citizen. That should be a reoccurrence, really. But anyway, we're doing good. We're flying. We're off. I'm talking shit and I've only had a sip so far. So there you go. This is going to be one great evening. So how are we doing? How are we traveling? Okay, fuel required. Hmm. So I'm looking at the um, right-hand side of the screen, folks. If they fix that shit up a little bit, that would be very nice. Very nice. But so far, the markers are working quite well. Quantum travel seems to be working quite well. Okay. So I've probably done about a dozen of these types of videos, maybe even more. So there's obviously plenty of stuff to <laughs> compare against um, when we go into the next uh, patch. But I really want to see what they're going to do. I, I really want to see the differences. Because I've been, well, like you guys, I've been watching all the other YouTube videos and YouTube channels and stuff on this topic. And I'm also kind of scratching my head going, oh... Is this going to help us or is this going to cause us even more grief? Don't know yet. We will find out. So come on Ev, let's go in for a landing. Oh, I also heard on the grapevine. Well, grapevine's probably like six years out of date now. They're, th they're thinking, and this is CIG, them. They're actually thinking about changing up master modes a little bit. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're thinking about changing it up. So we will see what this means. Ah, the classic view. That's right. Got to watch out for the mountains. Am I going in the right place? And you know what's going to happen, folks. Clear run all the way in. And as soon as I get closer, it's going to be a bloody dust storm. Ah, it looks like I'm not the only one here. Hmm. This might be a bit of a problem when it comes to Laronite. Ah, well, we'll see. Who knows? Okay. Should kind of... Here we go. Landing gear, Ev. That's not working. All right, here we go. Slow it down. Oh. Who's on the landing pad? Mm. 
And that sun is at a bloody great position, isn't it, folks? Can't see shit. Okay, I think I see... I see a misc on the actual... There you go. He is there. So that's a freelancer of some kind. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Kind of fucked that one up. There goes a bit of um, cost for damage. Bit of repair to be done afterwards. But I think here kind of looks like all right. I think. Are we down? Do we have landing gears down? Oh, we do now. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, that ain't too bad. All in all, not too bad. All right, so let's get out of the um, cockpit there, Ev. Switch the engines off before the ship flies away. Come on, engines off, buddy. Well, it's taking a fucking long time to take the engines off. There you go. So, yeah. Lovely animation here. I hate these fucking doors. They're cool in initially, they really are. But then just trying to walk past them and you have to sit there and wait. And we're calling the elevator. Why it defaults down to the bottom level, I don't know. Because I didn't go down there. Okay, so folks, are we going to wait and see? Are we going to go through the ship to actually exit the ship? And what do I mean by that? You'll see in about three seconds. And yep, we went through the floor of the ship to exit the ship. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, kind of don't want to leave that there just in case somebody else is around. Don't need them to steal the ship. That's a hang on. Was that Max already there? There's the other one over there. It's not the Max, it's the freelancer. Max is the orange one. Okay. If I see freelancers around, it means that people are here for one reason. Usually, and it's cargo. Ah, uh, I hope they fix this. Again, let me know in the comments. Is this graphics thing a me thing, or is this a game thing? Here we go, folks. Moment of truth. Where's my ship? Laronite, we got at 92 SCU. Mm -hmm. We'll try to get as much of that as possible. Again. Whoa, hang on a minute. I just saw the current balance. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 14.7 million. Hey? Eh? Or have I just... No, this is 14... Um, okay. <laughs> I I think a thank you has to go out to somebody in this video. I just saw this. 14 million. So that means I had like close to five. So someone's, um, really? They're giving me 10 million? Okay. Um, whoever that was, and if you're listening, uh, thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to. <laughs> um... But yeah, if you guys can actually let me know how I find out who sends whoever money in this game, that would be greatly appreciated because I want to say thank you to the individual because they really did not have to do that. But thank you all the same. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with that now. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll, we'll find something to do. Don't worry about that. Probably not in today's video, but we'll definitely find something to do. Um... Okay, for whatever reason, the comments started popping up. Come on, top deck. Here we go. And through the ship's hull. And I didn't turn around enough time to see if the cargo was there, but let's hope. And this is what's got me kind of big question mark first time around. When the new patch gets in, is this cargo automatically going to just appear? Or are we going to have to do like a waiting time? You know how like they do with the whole sea? Where you just have to sit there and wait in a box and they like load it up slowly, slowly, slowly. I honestly have no idea. Or are we going to be like looking at a completely different platform where shit has to come up and you have to load it up yourself? I have no idea. 
Okay, so we're ready to fly here, folks. There you go, lovely takeoff there, Ev. Oh, and the sun glare is horrible. Landing gear is up. We'll just turn the ass around. Very nice. So I'm purposely in like the safe flight mode. I'm calling it that. That's the one with the shields. Because you never know if people want to take a pot shot at you. So we want to go back to area 18. You don't have to, but for the purposes of this video, let's see. Oh yeah, also too, you don't have to wait for the graphics to, to find you. Um, here we go. Let's give it a good one, two, three. Boom! Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. You wouldn't know, oh, you would know actually, how many times I've actually done this and it did not work. But anyway, we're coming up to area Arquop and we're going to fly towards area 18. So, so far folks, it's a, it seems to be very easy. Nothing's gone wrong yet. I must admit, the markers have worked. Shocked and horrified at the same time. So let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm passing obviously another little piece of ship, which is not mine. And hopefully it was no cargo falling out of my ship. Yeah, I don't remember it's with so much of a lens flare on the damn thing. Could just be me. It also could just be a, a setting I've done by accident. I'll have to have a look at that one. But anyway, thankfully it's night time and thankfully there are some markers up here so I know exactly where I'm flying to, which is basically full of the yellow brick road. And there we go, lined ourselves up. Perfect. So, Ev, just punch it all the way in. Go on autopilot, son. Drink your beer. Cheers, everybody. Fantastic. Uh, watching this is like watching paint dry, isn't it, folks? But this is the game. This is why we edit. <laughs> <laughs> videos like this but this is the game so here's the interesting part which hangar am i going to be um assigned to now is it going to be hangar 8 where i started from or is it going to be something else let us get within another kilometer about now ish let's call atc Thank you. ah it's hangar 8 So it's kind of somewhere over here. Is that another? No, it's not another. It is the same 890 jump. <laughs> oh, I love this game. They litter it with ships. Now, am I going to fit or is this thing rolled over? Uh, no, I should be okay if I don't... As long as I don't do anything stupid, I should be okay. Just being very concerned. I mean, come on, who would just park an 890 jump there? Of all places. Not like you can do anything. We'll just go in very, very carefully. Keep an eye on the 890... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I hit the ass end. I was watching the 890 jump. There we go. That was a complete ass of a landing. But we're down and the hangar doors are closing. And yep, we're all down. All right, kill the engines, Ev. They don't need to be on any longer. Let's have a look at the um, IS 300. Interesting. I spent more, I'm gonna be spending more for fuel than what I am gonna be spending on the bloody repairs. Nice. So here's a little thing for you folks. Who says you never learn anything on this channel? If you exit your ship 
at the moment and this patch of the game and you've got repairs going or refueling going if you try to store your ship it tells you to bugger off i found that out the last time but then when you go back into the ship back into the pilot seat it still shows up as refueling lovely isn't it so that's why i'm sitting here waiting for all this shit to happen which it now has and i can um well bugger off so in that case we will exit our seat and we'll go to the doors that don't want to open there we go that's one door that's two doors and this is the third one now do i take the ladder or the elevator i'm thinking i should use the elevator hey it arrived and we will exit the ship as soon as i get to the panel and again we have to select it and hold the mouse i'm going to turn myself around this time to make sure i've got the cargo not that i can do anything past this point there we go i see cargo yay and i went through the bulkhead again so we'll select the top deck here we'll just jump off don't have to worry about it it's going back up hopefully So what I'll probably will do, only because it really shits me up the wall, I will take out the part of me traveling with the tram to the actual um, TDD location. But we'll, for the sake of everything, we'll just also add an extra two minutes, 30 seconds or something like that. That's how long it usually takes. So the next time we do this in the next patch when it's released, who knows when? Is it going to be August? Is it going to be September? Is it going to be October? Who knows? It's a game. It's in development. But whenever it's released, and I forgot, I have to actually put the ship in. Why am I so close to the fucking screen? So let's store that one. So yeah. Ready? Okay, 2 minutes 30 seconds. And here we go. Keep the clock running. Let's go and start selling shit. Where is the... There we go. Okay, so the volumes are correct. Aha. Uh -huh. Why did that fail? Don't bloody fail me on Laronite. Is this going to work? Alright. Now, what's the problem with this one? Don't be a dick. Come on. Yay! Alright. What? Hang on. What millions is it showing now? Let's have a look. 15.08. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Let's see what happens in the next video. There'll be some fighting, I think. Some gun fights for sure. Anyway, thank you for the person who deposited the money. And we will talk to you all in the next video. Okay, Ev. Let's go. Let's go.